Hey everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at the New Island Lightning. Now before I get started with the review, I would like to point out that this is the exact same cube as the Chia Thunderclap, so feel free to reference this review for the Thunderclap as well. To start off, this cube is 56 millimeters, which is obviously only 1 millimeter from 57, and so 1 millimeter isn't too big of a difference, and it's not really noticeable. And 56 millimeters is actually the ideal size for me, and so the turning of this puzzle, it's really smooth. And if I were to compare it to another cube, I'd say it's a clackier Along V1. When you're turning more than one face, you can hear a very prominent clackiness. And so this clackiness, however, doesn't really affect the turning or the performance of the puzzle. When it comes down to it, it's just more of an irritation issue if you have a problem with louder or noisier cubes. And the speed is also very nice. It's very fast, but you're also able, able to maintain control at the same time. And so it does go at pretty much any speed you desire. And stability is not an issue, an issue at all. It feels very nice and solid, and it does ensure that lockups don't really happen. And so corner cutting does factor into the lockups. And so corner cutting, it goes past 45 depending on your tensions, and about less than half a piece for reverse. But my tensions are fairly loose though. And so corner twisting, manually it is very easily able to happen, but while solving I've only gotten about 1 in 30 while solving. And nowadays modern speed cubes don't really pop and it's pretty much impossible and this cube is no exception. Now this is by no means a bad cube, but one aspect that I found could be improved upon was the construction of the center cap and center piece. You can see just how far down the center cap goes into the mechanism. And so that means more plastic is in contact with the center cap. And so that really doesn't affect anything besides the tensioning process. Because you take off the center caps to of course tension it, you're missing that extra plastic that would interact with the rest of the pieces. And so that just provides a lot of trial and error while tensioning, and so it does lengthen the process. Now I didn't really find this to be a problem, but just be mindful and aware that you will have to take more time in order to find that perfect sweet spot for your tensions. Now I'm not sure if this cube will become my main, although it is a very strong contender in the race, and so it most likely will, but we'll have to see later on. But overall, this cube is very very nice. It's a budget priced cube, but with high quality performance. It's definitely comparable to the Along V2 and a lot of high quality modern speed cubes coming out on the market these days. And so I definitely recommend you check it out. It's a very low priced cube and so it definitely won't hurt your wallet at all just to try it out at least. Um, although the New Island Lightning is $18 and that's with the inclusion of pieces and stickers and a cube bag. And although it is, it does come in a very nice and sleek looking box, it doesn't really add up to the $18 price tag that New Island has put on it. And so if you do want to look into purchasing this, purchasing this cube just to, you know, try it out, expand your collection, then I'd say look into getting the Chi Thunderclap. It comes with a cube and a cube bag. And although it doesn't come with the pieces at least, you at least get the cube bag, and that in and of itself is a very nice deal for 6 to $9. And so I hope you found this review very thorough and helpful in your decision making. And so hopefully you stay tuned for future videos later on. And as always, I will see you again next time.